Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video in this Django tutorial series. And this is a very exciting tutorial and this is a very fun tutorial I like to think because you are going to see the content from the database in the HTML file. So it's fairly simple, it's nothing new and uh, to do that first we need to declare a dictionary. We'll just say it as a context. It needs to have a value movies this value movies it's it's going to be in the HTML file and it's referring to all movies so and to pass it into our HTML file we can just pass context so basically this has set out movies to be passed across this index.html file so in the index.html file let's just create a new template and we'll say all movies in the database and to view the movies we need to type in the movie name so basically in the static website you would do like that and it would just show it as the dark knight but since we are pulling data from the database we are going to use django language templating which is a jinja jinja templating so it's fairly simple so it just uses curly braces percentage and it has very basic logic so you just have to learn for loops and if conditions so uh, since the object that we are getting has more than one data and its objects dot all it's like a list of query set we need a loop to loop through each of the elements so to initiate a loop just do curly bracket person to sign person to sign curly bracket and we'll do, we'll say for movie in movies so what it's referring is this is just a name variable name and movies it's referring to this movies over here which is referring to all movies so for movie in movies and we are going to end loop and for my bad and this is going to run un as long as as lo as far as the length of the movies goes so this for right now we have two movies in the database it should print the dark knight twice okay it didn't print anything so for movie in movies li the dark knight so let's try printing the movie from the database we'll just do double curly braces and we'll do movie and the name of the field that we're going to print which is name for right now let's reload it and it's not working let's check what's wrong with it it says all movie in the database for movie in movies and for movie dot item name and here's our movies context okay well I don't know why it's not working let's try one more time okay run the server reload it and yep I think the server wasn't reloaded properly I think that's what it was so yeah for movie in movies so for the length of the movies it's gonna print the movie name basically it's gonna print the dark knight and the Jojo rabbit so it's extracting data from the database and then we will also give it a director and we'll say directed by and then we'll give movie and director so where did these comes from these are from the models.py director refers to this field over here name refers to this field so let's reload it and yep directed by Christopher Nolan directed by Taika Waititi so that was pretty cool huh so in our upcoming videos I will teach you how you can you know add to the database using HTML forms update delete and all that stuff and if you have any problems regarding this or the past tutorials just let me know in the comment section below and until next time thanks for watching